Well, we're back to episode 20 of the Rangers Retro Career Mode. We have got three games before the split. As you can see, we've got a two-point gap over Celtic. And if you look at the three games before the split, we've got Hibs at Easter Road, we've got Aberdeen at Ibrox, and we've got Celtic at Celtic Park, which seems like it'll be a mega match. But then the next mega match will be the next game against them, which I don't know where it'll be at, Isla Ibrox or obviously Celtic Park. But then we've got Celtic twice in the one episode, the cup final and a massive like league decider as well. But anyway, this is episode 20. That'll be 21. We've got Hibs and Aberdeen today. Let's just edge closer to claiming the big league title. But let's get stuck in. The playoffs. Here we go. Week 39. Fucking 21 wins. More or less all the defeats and draws came pretty early on. But we're fucking, we've been on a mega run, but so have Celtic. But they've slipped up a wee bit recently. Obviously, we slipped up last episode against Kilmarnock, which was uh, pretty pish. But they've got Rorden up front, 75 already. He's definitely the danger man. But we've got Chris Boyd, the fucking main man. So he's going to smash Hibs into next week. And we're going to get the job done. And we're going to win. Miller. Kenny Miller. Beasley. Goes for the header, but it was never really going to trouble uh, the goalie. Like, was it? Like, no. <laughs> Could have if it was if it was placed perfectly bottom left, but it just wasn't. Miller finds Boyd. Touch didn't really help the, the cause there, and it's pish. Boyd, can you win that? Yes. Come on, we've got a play. Our field straight into the hands of Stacky. Boyd, come on, find them. Chris Boyd. Oh, come on, stack, you bastard. What are you doing? Come on, I thought Boyd had this all day long. Goes for the bottom right. Decent save, or is it shite? I don't know. But Pedro Mendes whips the ball in. High boot, but they don't give that back in 2009-10. The fucking good days. Well, it wasn't too good. Could have been a lot better. Late 90s, early 2000s. The world just, everything in the world just seemed to be better. Late 90s, early 2000s, like. But Simana, the big lefty, doesn't want me criticising today's culture. But hits it wide. So that's a half time, it's, it's pretty easy. Like, uh, e easy, even. <laughs> Not too much to split us. Miller! And it's some, fuck me, what a piss safe stack, man, straight at him. I thought he was definitely going over, but Kenny Miller manages to find the back of the net. Good bit of play, our field just plays into him, one touch, bang, ping. And I really thought the goalie would do better, but he didn't. Come on, Boyd, come on, fuck off, fan satin. Yes, Boyd, oh, the touch is just fucking murder. Um, ah, good recovery from him, but van der Weel. Finds Thompson. Miller can't find Boyd, and the chance is at the windy. That was a great challenge. Like I, I don't see anything wrong with that. That is the full time whistle. I forgot to even fucking commentate there at the end. I was too. I was actually too busy thinking about Tony Robinson getting fucking shafted. And by the way, I'll probably make a fed before this gets uploaded. So if you haven't go watch it, go check it out. But anyway, we beat Hibs 1-0. That's just how pissed off I've been over the Tony Robinson. Getting, imagine getting out, getting, getting jailed for confronting child rapists. And Celtic draw. That's a good thing. That's, that's fantastic. The gap now will be four points at the top of the league, which is great. As you see, there's the lead tail. We are on 71 points. Celtic on 67. They're really beginning to fucking slip up like, aren't they? Pretty sure it's like April in this week. It's week 40. It'll be in April, March time. It's snowing. We do get the odd occasional, uh, like, snowy week or something, or day, a couple of days. Um, But, don't know what's going on. Are they trying to shaft us in the league? Probably like them in there. 
Bloody God's a well, God is a pedo. Fuck it, fuck the world, man. I can't be arsed with it. I want to die, but let's just beat Aberdeen and get the job done. Arfield shot into the side net. Oh, Kenny, 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 Kenny. Well, well, that was close. That was very close. Arfield. Oh, Boyd almost getting a, another goal for himself, but not. And now Maguire has been played through. Fander Wheel can't even catch up. We are trying to get in. Manages to do a tackle. Great. Keeps it in. Fantastic. Good wee bit of play here. Boyd, though. What's he doing? Oh, yes. Come on. Scott Arfield! Scott Arfield gets fucking poleaxed, but it doesn't matter. It's 1 0. Aberdeen are greeting, and it's fantastic. Scotty, 2 R, Fieldy man, quality finish. Chris Boyd gets another assist, another goal contribution for the main man. And we're leading! I mean, what are Aberdeen playing at? Like, just giving the ball straight to Chris Boyd. Chris Boyd could have buried it. Fuck me. What is that? He should, he should be at least getting that on target. Like, fuck me. You're not going to get gifted much more than that. Beasley. Fucking great wee bit of poaching. Wins the corner. Fuck, I, I should have done better there. But Arfield. Can he add to his goal with an assist? No. <laughs> Aberdeen now. Aluku. Aluku. Fucking piss. You should have done a lot better. But come on, Miller. Finds Boyd. Arfield there holding the run. Ref blows the whistle because he's a wee shite bag. 1-0 though. Fantastic. Aberdeen now. They've got the ball edge of the box. Miller goes back. Back to Duff. Maguire, Diamond, whips it, fucking good ball. And that, that should be one each. It seriously makes you wonder, like, what the fuck our defence was doing. <laughs> ball whipped in. Clear the gate. We're fucking living dangerously here. ECW 1997, right, come on. Come on, Arfield. Jump over that. Yes, come on. Boyd can't reach it, but can he can? Thompson! Good save for Langfield. Well, Gru launch ones forward. Falls to right. Can he find Liam Miller? Lee Miller? What are, I'm fucking, who cares, man? Young, I'm fucking wrecked. Plus four, Duff. We win it, but not good enough. Ball whipped. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit, whoa. <laughs> fucking nature boy, Rick. Fucking flair, man. Go right through him. And it's a corner kick. The goalie's coming up. The fucking pressure's on it. Langfield's looking like a spastic. Diamond whips it in. Cleared. Miller could have done a lot fucking better there. Let's be real. I mean, the fucking chance was on. Come on, man. Just get ready. It. It's no fucking rocket science. And we pull actually each other. Cheers. Right. Right into the hand of McGregor. Launch this up. That should be it. Come on. It is. It is six points for six, which means the gap, at a minimum, is four points heading into the game against Celtic, which means even if they beat us, it would still be a point. But hopefully, hopefully, they've dropped even more points here. Here we go, though, with the results, let's see. Falkirk won, St Mirren won, Motherwell won, Hearts won, and Celtic beat Hibs 4-2 in a pretty high scoring game. So that means the gap at the top is 4. Pointy on. It's transfers minus 10 quid. Fuck no man, can't be minus 10 quid, what's that all about? Um, oh, it's looking fucking toasty big man. But anyway, 4 points at the top, can Celtic narrow it to 1? 
And will we win the Scottish Cup final? Tune in to episode 21. But until next time, peace.